One of the big winners in this brave new political environment is Linda Sarsour. She's a left-wing activist. She's now the face of Muslim identity politics in America. Of course, the Democratic Party loves her. But what does she actually believe? Assess it for yourself. Respect the presidency, but I will not respect this president. Our number one and top priority is to protect and defend our communities. It is not to assimilate and to please any other people in authority. I hope that we, when we stand up to those who oppress our communities, that Allah accepts from us that as a form of jihad, that we are struggling against tyrants and rulers, not only abroad in the Middle East or in the other side of the world, but here in these United States of America where you have fascists and white supremacists and Islamophobes reigning in the White House. Arguing against assimilation. Why can't Democrats find a Muslim mascot who is not a total extremist? They probably could if they tried. Heat Street's Joe Simonson joins us tonight for more on this Linda Sarsour person. Joe, thanks a lot for coming on. Who thanks, is Tucker. she exactly, and is it fair to call her an extremist? Yeah, no, absolutely. Uh, Linda Sarsour is, um, makes Muslims in the Middle East look moderate. Um, she is an extremist. Uh, and the fact that she believes in Sharia law. Um, she recently used the word jihad um, to explain her uh, personal inner war with the president. Um, she is absolutely an extremist. Um, she has taken a leadership position in the so-called leftist uh, resistance to President Trump. And um, she's certainly outside the mainstream of, uh, I think, American ideals, and I would even say the average American Muslim's ideals. Well, if she's for Sharia law, law, for sure, but that seems like it would set her at odds with mainstream feminism, which is, at least purports to be, about empowering women. Sharia law is, you know, a non-Western code that really circumscribes their choices. So, Absolutely. like, how does that work? How are feminists for Sharia law? <laughs> Absolutely. I mean, uh, leftist feminists definitely have a difficult balancing act to play here. Uh, I think they really like having um, a token minority, and when she starts speaking about um, what Sharia law is, they kind of just turn off their ears, and yet, but then they can say, well, we have this woman, this Palestinian activist, and it's so great, and oh, well, just don't listen to what it actually means to uh, live in a country that ha has Sharia law. Yeah, I mean, it seems like most people, most feminists would be adamantly right, against terrifying. that. It, is it fair to say that she has ties to mainstream Democratic politicians, elected Democrats? A absolutely. I mean, not a single mainstream Democratic um, politician has certainly denounced her. She was one of the uh, people at the front of the so-called Women's March um, after Trump was inaugurated. Um, she's taken stage with several different Democratic politicians, and she's certainly been embraced by mainstream Democrats. This is not a fringe figure, even though her beliefs are certainly fringe. Huh. Where is she on Israel? Not a fan. Um, she is a Palestinian um, absolutist. Um, I would be surprised if she even believes Israel has a right to exist, Tucker. So does nobody say anything about this in the Democratic Party? I mean, it used to be, and by used to be, I mean like 18 months ago, someone like this would get some pushback in the Democratic Party. Does she? Right, absolutely. I mean, I think everyone that would criticize someone like Linus Sarsour has been driven outside of the Democratic Party. I mean, I think this is reflected in the fact that Democrats have a really hard time losing elections. Now, what I don't understand, and it's what you mentioned earlier, is that there are millions of Muslim Americans in this country that are good people, Tucker, people who assimilated, people who go to school, have normal jobs, um, who don't uh, preach Sharia law. And I don't understand why Democrats don't talk to one of these people to kind of talk about Islam. You'd think? You, I mean, you would. Yeah, they've gotten extreme. Joe, thanks a lot for that. Thanks, thanks for the Tucker. details. Appreciate it.